And in Asia, stocks also higher. The Shanghai Composite up 2.5% and more than 1% gains for the Nikkei, the Hang Seng, and the Kospi. Investors watching upbeat factory data out of China and also trade talks later this week in Washington. Let's, Carol? let's pick this up right now and take a closer look at what is ahead of these uh, U.S. China trade talks. And again, set later this week in Washington, as she just mentioned, Riley Walters, a policy analyst for the Asia Economy and Technology Group at the Heritage Foundation. And I think that, you know, I think we're really ready now to kind of see kind of where is the proof, where are the signatures. Do you, are you optimistic we can maybe wrap things up uh, when the Chinese Vice Premier arrives in Washington later this week? Good morning. Uh, I am optimistic. I mean, I think everyone's pretty optimistic on the trade talks right now. Uh, whether a deal will actually be made this week is very unlikely. I think what it's going to take is a, a meeting between the presidents themselves. But, you know, uh, this week is a good opportunity to sort of final, uh, you know, finish dotting the I's and crossing the T's on this potential deal, which can make it a lot easier for when the presidents eventually meet. You know, it's interesting. We got this, this economic news out of China. Caught a lot of folks by surprise, but in a good way. It was PMI, and, and it was 50.5. That, that's actually not a contraction. That is barely above that growth line that you look for, that 50. That's a six-month high uh, for China and this purchasing manager's index. This is despite the trade tensions, despite the fact that, uh, that these tariffs have been under threat, and there are certain tariffs that are already in place against China. What do you make of that? Well, you know, uh, markets are always cyclical. There's always ups and downs. I think China is rebounding a bit uh, from last year's down. Uh, the government themselves is, are uh, doing a, a several number of measures to try and inflate their economy right now. And certainly there's a lot of questions to what the tariffs have actually cost the Chinese economy. But, uh, you know, going forward, you know, the tariffs are having an effect on their economy just like it's having an effect on our economy. And it's uh, negative, I think, to a net degree for both of us. Some of the headlines last week kind of point to the fact that it looks like the Chinese are becoming more and more willing uh, to, frankly, give in to U.S. demands. And, and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin tweeting about it on Friday that he's optimistic. He's not a big tweeter, we should say. So I think that was significant. Markets reacted. What do you say? <laughs> Well, he's certainly uh, more of a tweeter than uh, Ambassador Lighthizer is. But yes, I mean, he is optimistic on this. Uh, surprisingly so. I, I, you know, given what Ambassador Lighthizer, uh, last week he gave an interview on NPR, he was, you know, uh, you know, very optimistic on that too. So, you know, the question is whether maybe they're being a little too optimistic. Riley, thank you very much for getting up early. A lot to go through. It's a big week for U.S.-China trade.